Today I have this zebra head and we're going to work on our zebra growth chart as I had promised. I know some of you have been waiting for this tutorial. This is our cut your own stencil um, panels. Uh, it comes from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you can get them at Michael's as well. It's from Folk Art and it comes with four panels in, um, in a package. Now I got really lucky with these as they actually fit across the board perfectly. So um, I started by making a pattern. I had two pieces of tracing paper and I started with a triangle and then I created a smaller triangle inside of that and then an even smaller one. Now I ended up not even needing the smallest triangle in this pattern but just wanted to explain that in my mind I thought maybe I would So just disregard the smaller triangle. So taking my second piece of tracing paper, I'm going to have the largest and then aside, alongside of it, I'm tracing the smaller triangle on the left side and then on the right side. On either side, you want a smaller triangle. I went to add the smallest triangle, but I'm just going to skip over that because I ended up not needing it. So disregard the smallest triangle. So now on my piece of um, adhesive stencil board, I'm laying down my pattern and I'm using this cutter that it did a pretty good job, but I ended up switching to scissors as the it was not good at the detail, especially the point. So I ended up ditching that and went right into um, just working with scissors. Now guys, just bear with me. I know this video is a little bit longer than normal, but I do have two ways I'm going to show you on how you can create your stripes on your board. Um, it's basically going to be the same way, but with two different materials. Uh, this was definitely a little bit more expensive. Um, and then I'm going to show you a lesser expensive way. There are pros and cons with both. Um, but I just wanted to show you both ways. So once I got my pattern cut out, I folded it over and repeated it on the other side. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a stencil since I don't have a zebra stencil and I'm making the pattern try to fit the pattern that we already see displayed on the head so that it all, you know, kind of blends together. So let's put that aside and going to my board. I'm starting with Wise Owl Primer. This is not a necessity. I do it because I don't want any yellowing in my whites and I don't want any of the knots to show through. So it's a personal preference and I do apply my primer with a foam roller. And then I covered it with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. All these products can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. So now we're going to our stencil. Now, the pro to this was that this was extremely sticky. The con to this was that it was extremely sticky. So guys, you're seeing a lot of this stuff in real time. I have never done this before. I have never worked with this product before. So I'm doing it for the first time myself. So if I was to go back in time, I would have used all the four panels and did this right up the board but in my mind, I thought, well, I'm just going to lift it and keep moving it up the board just like I do any other stencil. And it worked, but I did have to go back and um, do some tidying up in the white area because it was a little bit messy. And again, this is extremely sticky. Um, I liked the product as far as stencils are concerned. I thought it did its job very well. Um but it was very difficult to move up and, and keep laying it down. And that's when I came up with the second way to do it. But again, if I was to do this way again, again, it's a little bit more expensive, but I would have used um, more panels and you needed five panels to complete this. And that package only had four. I hope I'm making sense. So you would need two packages of the black if you decided to go all the way up the board um, versus picking up and laying back down as I did.
and I'm just going to go all the way up the board doing this process and the part you won't see is me I did take an art brush and just tidy up where I had gotten some black paint So now this is my second option. This is called Clear uh, Transparent Adhesive. You can get this right at the dollar store. It's usually in the kitchen cabinet um, contact paper area, and it's quite long. I've used this already for a few projects that just shows you there's a lot here, and you get it for a dollar. Um, I did tape it down as it just wanted to keep rolling. So what I did was I took the pattern that I made originally for the black stencil, I laid that down and traced it out. I took a pair of scissors and cut out the pattern. Now remember this animal head I found at Target for $3. A lot of people were having a hard time finding it. We do have a link if you go to Target itself on the webpage. They do have these heads. The catch with that is you have to buy all four. They are still $3 each, but you have to buy four for $12. And they have a lion, uh, a zebra, a panda bear, and a giraffe. You guys saw me do the panda bear, and I wanted to do the zebra for you. So you can always go back in our tutorials. If you've enjoyed this, uh, you can find them either on YouTube or on our webpage. And now I'm, what I did was I stacked five squares together and am cutting them out to fit each other. So I'm going to have five adhesive patterns. And this is basically what you should do with the black one, with the black um, stencil paper if you wanted to go and use that method. So this is clear. That's the only difference, but it does. It is sticky. It is not as sticky as the black. Um, that being said, you may get a little bit more bleed through because it doesn't. Uh, it sticked pretty well, um, but I did have to go back with an art brush and just you know clean up some lines. But it really was not that significant. So this I went all the way up the board. with each square and you're going to need five. The top part we're not worrying about because the head is going to go up there. And I applied my paint the exact same way. I don't need to show it to you all over again, but here you go. And then you pull up your uh, adhesive. Now I did paint the top black. As if anything around the head showed, I wanted you to see black, but that's just personal preference. So this is the stencil for our growth chart. Um, I believe we have a link for this. If you're interested, just ask. And I'm using um, Citron by Wise Owl. Uh, this color is probably going to be discontinued, but any bright yellow or bright orange, I feel any of those two would look great with this project. And I just went all the way up the board. And then once that dried, I used um, a number stencil. We got this at Michael's. And you're going to start with the number two. And then I just tidied up my numbers using an art brush. And you want to go to the number four. Uh, number five would be in the head area, so you're not going to be able to do that. So you're going to need the numbers two, three, and four. So I flip my board around and we're going to start by taking off the hardware from the back of the head. And then I did apply one coat of one hour enamel and allowed that to dry before I started to um, add the head. And once that dried, I took a little shimmy as the back of the um, zebra head is not flat. So I'm using this little shimmy and I'm using some Elmer's wood glue and a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube or now you can check our videos out at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, 
um, or uh, brushes, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.